Welcome to the Texas Department of Transportation Houston District's virtual public meeting for the FM723 Improvement Project Reevaluation from north of the Brazos River to south of Beetle Lane, located in Fort Bend County. This is a pre-recorded presentation. My name is Celeste Johnston and I'm part of the consultant team working on this project on behalf of the Texas Department of Transportation, also known as TxDOT. I would like to welcome you and thank you for participating in this virtual public meeting. This is the second public meeting being conducted for the FM 723 project. This presentation is available for viewing starting on April 13th, 2021. During the virtual meeting, you may pause the presentation and navigate forward or backward using your video player. This virtual public meeting is being held to introduce proposed design changes to the FM 723 project and gather public input. You are encouraged to submit comments after reviewing the meeting materials and listening to this presentation. In this presentation, I will describe the proposed design changes to the FM 723 project, provide an overview of the environmental studies being performed, explain the next steps in the project development process, and outline the methods for submitting comments. Given the unique circumstances of the COVID-19 pandemic, along with the department's commitment to protecting public health during this national emergency, TxDOT is conducting this virtual public meeting to avoid in-person contact. At this time, an online public meeting is being conducted in lieu of an in-person public meeting. This presentation covers the same information that the Houston District would have presented at an in-person public meeting. The comment process for the virtual public meeting will be described near the end of this presentation. All meeting materials can be found on TxDOT's project webpage on the FM723 Improvements Project meeting notice page. The webpage for the project is www.txdot.gov keyword search FM723 from north of the Brazos. Notices were mailed to adjacent property owners, local schools, emergency services, and neighborhood associations on Thursday, March 25, 2021. Elected official letters were emailed on Friday, March 26, 2021. Notices for this public meeting were published in the Fort Bend Herald and Lavos, a Spanish-language newspaper, on Sunday, March 28, 2021, and the Houston Chronicle on Monday, March 29, 2021. Information was posted to the TxDOT website on Tuesday, April 13, 2021. Social media posts were made on TxDOT's Twitter and Facebook pages. The FM 723 Improvements Project is receiving federal funds. And because of the federal component, TxDOT is required to assess the potential environmental effects of the proposed project in accordance with federal standards. The process that is followed is called the National Environmental Policy Act process, otherwise known as NEPA. The NEPA process provides analysis of the potential impacts to the natural and man-made environment and helps the decision maker to make an informed decision on whether or not to proceed with the project. On December 9, 2019, TxDOT received a signed Memorandum of Understanding from the Federal Highway Administration that permits TxDOT to assume responsibility from the Federal Highway Administration for reviewing and approving certain assigned NEPA projects. This review and approval process applies to this project. The original environmental studies and schematic development for the FM 723 roadway widening project were initiated in 2016. A public meeting was held for the original project in 2016, and a public hearing was held in 2018. An environmental assessment was completed for this project and received environmental clearance on April 24, 2019. The corridor has experienced flooding impacts during the 2016 Memorial Day flood and Hurricane Harvey. In response to flooding impacts, TxDOT is proposing design changes that include raising FM 723 above the 100-year floodplain from north of the Brazos River to south of Beetle Lane. In conjunction with the design changes, TxDOT has initiated a reevaluation of the original environmental study to determine if, with the proposed design changes, the NEPA decision from the original project remains valid. The FM 723 project's reevaluation study limits are from north of the Brazos River to south of Beetle Lane, a distance of approximately 3.5 miles. The project is located in Fort Bend County. FM 723 serves as a major thoroughfare within Fort Bend County, which has experienced a substantial increase in population over the past 20 years. The majority of land use within the vicinity of the project consists of commercial and residential development as well as agricultural fields. 
During Hurricane Harvey, the Brazos River in Fort Bend County entered a major flood stage as its water levels exceeded the previous record by almost two feet, and flooding along the Brazos River overwhelmed protected levees in some areas. In the Houston-Galveston Area Council's 2019-2022 Transportation Improvement Program, TxDOT and local governments identified a list of roadways that should be considered for additional flood mitigation because of their importance to public safety, mobility, and the state and region's economy. FM 723 from the Brazos River to FM 359 was identified as a roadway that needed to be elevated above the floodplain. The purpose of the design change to the original project is to raise FM 723 out of the 100-year floodplain from north of the Brazos River to south of Beetle Lane. The original project generally consisted of widening FM 723 within the project limits from a two-lane, one-lane each direction undivided roadway to a four-lane divided roadway, two lanes each direction. The typical right-of-way width for the approved project was 180 feet. As mentioned earlier, the proposed design changes include raising the FM 723 profile from north of the Brazos River Bridge to south of Beetle Lane. The roadway would be constructed on embankments and bridges. The project would include constructing seven bridges to allow for normal floodplain function during flood events. The roadway elevation would vary and would be raised up to 10 feet from the existing roadway elevation. The design changes covered in this re-evaluation would require approximately 31 acres of additional right-of-way, and the right-of-way width would vary from 270 feet to 310 feet. The existing typical section, that is the existing roadway design along FM 723 from the north end of the Brazos River Bridge to south of Beetle Lane, consists of two undivided 12-foot lanes, one in each direction, and outside shoulders that vary from 2.5 feet to 8 feet. The right-of-way varies, but is typically 120 feet. The previously approved typical section includes four 12-foot lanes, two in each direction with 12-foot outside shoulders, an 18-foot raised median with intermittent median openings and left turn lanes, and six-foot wide sidewalks on both sides of the roadway. The left side of this slide shows a typical section for the project north of Cummings Road. FM 723 would be raised out of the 100-year floodplain by constructing the roadway on an embankment and bridges. This typical section shows an example of the proposed roadway constructed on embankment. The figure on the right shows an aerial view of what the proposed roadway would look like. The red lanes show where FM 723 is currently located. The typical section on the left shows an example of what the sections of FM 723 constructed on bridge would look like. The figure on the right shows an aerial view of what the roadway would look like on a bridge. The red lanes show where FM 723 is currently located. Here is a screenshot of the legends for the schematics. The screenshot on the left shows the colors that fill the proposed design. These colors identify the limits and major aspects of the project. Let's walk through them. Yellow identifies the main travel lanes on FM 723. Purple identifies bridges and green identifies medians. Blue identifies proposed sidewalks and orange identifies driveways. The screenshot on the right shows the various types of lines that you will see. Of particular note are the blue dashed lines that indicate proposed right-of-way and the light gray dashed lines that indicate existing right-of-way. Here is a view of the schematic or design drawing of the project. The slide shows the project from Baker Road to north of Cummings Road. The yellow area shows sections of FM 723 that would be constructed on embankment. The purple area shows sections that would be reconstructed on bridge, and the green areas in the center of the roadway show where medians would be constructed. The embankment would be constructed from compacted earthen material and would raise the roadway above the level of the existing surrounding ground surface. The bridges would be constructed to span areas without closing the way underneath to allow for normal floodplain function. The entire schematic can be viewed on the project webpage. The project is consistent with the Houston-Galveston Area Council's 2045 Regional Transportation Plan for the eight-county Houston-Galveston region and the 2021-2024 Transportation Improvement Program. The project is programmed with a combination of federal and state funds for a total of approximately $57 million.
The project team is in the process of identifying and evaluating potential environmental impacts that could occur as a result of the proposed design changes. Areas being reviewed include cultural and natural resources, floodplains, floodways, and hazardous materials. A traffic noise analysis will be conducted in accordance with state and federal guidelines to determine if the project will result in a traffic noise impact. If there is a traffic noise impact, noise barriers would be analyzed to determine if they are reasonable and feasible. If noise barriers are proposed for the project, a noise workshop would be held for property owners adjacent to any proposed noise barriers. The project would be designed to avoid or minimize impacts to the greatest amount practicable. Technical reports documenting the analysis and conclusions of these studies will be available for review once completed. Approximately 31 acres of additional right-of-way would be required for the design change and would potentially displace one storage shed. No residential or commercial displacements are anticipated. TxDOT offers relocation counseling and financial assistance to persons that are affected by right-of-way acquisition in accordance with the Uniform Relocation Assistance and Real Property Acquisition Policies Act of 1970. The one potentially displaced structure from the project, a non-residential structure, is located at 2735 FM 723 Rosenberg, Texas. Potential displacements would be confirmed during final design. Information about the Textart Relocation Assistance Program concerning services and benefits for displaced persons and businesses can be found on the Textart website at https colon forward slash forward slash www.txdot.gov forward slash government forward slash processes dash procedures forward slash row dot html. We want to highlight the estimated project timeline. Look for the pink We Are Here arrow at the bottom left of the slide. This virtual public meeting is being held to present the proposed project changes and gather public and stakeholder input. After the comment period closes, TxDOT will review the comments received and prepare a virtual public meeting summary report. The summary report will be posted to the project website approximately three months after the close of the comment period. The next steps include refining the schematic and further evaluating environmental impacts. Provided the environmental documents and process are approved, the project would then move into detailed design and right-of-way acquisition could begin. Construction is programmed to begin in fall 2022. The project team anticipates the construction would take approximately three years. The project website contains all materials presented in this virtual public meeting, including this presentation in both English and Spanish exhibit boards, a comment card, a project fact sheet, schematic layouts for the proposed project, and an environmental constraints map. The schematic layouts provide a more in-depth look at details such as location of proposed bridges, sidewalks, and the existing and proposed right-of-way. These files are large and may require more time to download than the other project materials. TxDOT encourages you to review the materials posted on the virtual public meeting webpage and to provide written comments. The comment form is located on the meeting webpage. Comments must be received via email or mailed and postmarked by Wednesday, April 28, 2021 to be included in the official virtual public meeting summary report. You can submit written comments in the following ways. Via email to hou-pio webmail at text.gov via mail to the TxDOT Houston District Attention Advanced Project Development Director, P.O. Box 1386, Houston, Texas 77251-1386, online by visiting www.txdot.gov and searching in the upper right-hand search box for FM 723 from north of the Brazos. Click on the email link at the bottom of the project page to open the comment form. Again, responses to comments received during the comment period will be included in the virtual public meeting summary report that will be posted on the project webpage approximately three months after the comment period closes. The project webpage is www.txdot.gov, keyword search, FM723 from north of the Brazos. Secondly, don't hesitate to contact us with any questions. 
Please feel free to contact the project manager at the Houston District Office at 713-802-5260 or the area engineer at the Fort Bend Area Office at 281-238-7900 with any questions or comments at any time during this project redevelopment process. And don't forget to click on these links and follow us on Twitter for ongoing road closures and construction updates on the Houston District Twitter page. You can also keep up with Text.News News on our Facebook page. Thank you for participating in this virtual public meeting.